Hi guys, welcome to Have You. My name is Rada Iris, and today we're going to be viewing Grenada Part 2. Alright, so I already did a video on Grenada. Um, go check it out. I basically just mentioned the top 5 things to do there and things to see. In this video, we're just going to go a little bit more in depth. We're going to talk about how to budget for Grenada and how you could spend less than $1,000 on your trip there. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, so before we go into all the good stuff, let's just real quickly talk about um, some fun facts. Alright, so one US dollar is going to equal $2.70 Eastern Caribbean Grenada dollars. Um, but for the sake of this video, all my points are going to be in US dollar, okay? Okay, so I was in Grenada for 7 days and in total I spent $999. And that money was split into three categories. Number one is flight, number two is lodging, and number three is spending money slash extracurriculars. So I'm gonna share some flight information and then we'll go on to the other two. All right, flights. I got my flight for $375 directly to JetBlue. It was a direct flight from New York to Grenada. Um, you, if you are flexible with time, you could probably get something for $300 or even $350. Um, but either way, JetBlue is the way to go just because other airlines charge a lot more. It could go anywhere from like $500 to $400. Um, so yeah, go with JetBlue. Um, if you want to go to Grenada during Carnival, that's in August. Um, just know that prices are a little bit higher during that time and it's a little bit more busier for obvious reasons. Lodging. Now here is where you could probably save a lot of money. You have two options. You can either go through Airbnb or a hotel. The good thing about Grenada is that the island is pretty small so you can actually just stay in one place for your entire stay. Speaking about Airbnb, we chose the Airbnb route. Um, our Airbnb was 50 bucks a night and it was right in front of the beach. The only thing is that the bed was not a hotel bed. But that's okay um, you know we made it work uh, but either way it saved us a lot of money in comparison to how much a hotel would cost all right so here are some tips when selecting an Airbnb in Grenada number one you're gonna want to find something that's really close to the beach there are a few places that are beautiful um, but they're kind of far away and I don't know if they're really worth it you know after that you're gonna want to filter your selection with places that have AC units um, that could be a really big deal breaker for a lot of people it's AC and last but not least, I want to say don't have too many high expectations. All right, spending money. So here is where you could either splurge all you want and be bougie, or you know you could try and budget things down. Um, I say that there's three categories within spending money. You have food, public transportation, um, and extracurricular activities. All right, so let's just break that down a little bit more. We have food. You can save a lot of money in food. How? Simple. Just don't go to the restaurants. When you have breakfast, have it at home. Lunch, make a little quick wrap. If you're gonna really spend money on food, just treat yourself to dinner. Oh, and I just wanna add that if you buy street food, you'll save even more money than the restaurant food. We would spend maybe $100 at a restaurant. Yes, $100 compared to $25 on street food. It just saves you a lot more money and it's just as good. Um, oh yeah, one more thing to keep in mind is that alcohol is really cheap in Grenada. So if you wanna go splurge on alcohol, you are more than welcome to do that. Um, not saying that you should, but just saying. <laughs> All right, so next is transportation. Um, and let's just be honest, um, renting a car is pretty expensive and it's just not needed. It's about $50 to $75 a day and that's just not worth it. You're better off taking a public transportation such as a bus because it will save you a lot of money. Um, buses range from one to four US dollars per way um, and it overall just depends on the bus you take and the route. Um, so the po more popular a route is, the higher the price, but either way, it's still your cheapest option. So for the buses, don't be afraid to wave them down. It's a really interesting system that they have, but if you just wave them down, they'll kind of stop for you. Um, and it works. Um, I don't know if that would work in New York, but it works in Grenada. And here's one very important tip for a public transportation. Um, buses do not run on Sundays, so do not plan any big excursion on a Sunday because you will not get there. 
do a bus at least. Grenadians use Sunday as a resting day and they take that really seriously. So if you're planning any big excursions or any big trips for Sunday, don't. So last thing for spending money is excursions. And you know what, this is a pretty general tip, but when planning excursions, just plan them on your own. It'll save you a lot more money than going to a tour guide. Like for us, going to Annandale Falls, it was like, what, $10? And then people that we met there said that they actually paid $120 do a hotel for a tour and we're just like wow that's a lot of money um, so you can save a lot of money if you just plan your own excursions it's a little bit more work on your end but it is possible um, and it's a lot cheaper okay so in total we spent $475 per person on spending activity and that is $68 a day to break that down even more, 50% was on food, 30% um, was on public transportation, 15% was on activities, and 5% was on miscellaneous things like souvenirs. Um, to be honest, we could have definitely spent a lot less, but we were a little bit bougie on the food, but that was our personal choice. All right, so to wrap it up, we have 375 for flight, 150 for Airbnb, and then 475 on spending money slash activities, and that comes out to $1,000, which is what you need for your vacation. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and the information that I shared, and I really hope you decide to go to Grenada because it is a magical place. So thanks again for watching. Um, I want to just take some time for us to examine our heart. I think self-reflection is really important. So I'm leaving you off with a song titled Take Courage by Christine DiMarco. Enjoy guys. Bye. Bye.